Moment in Christ, our everyday encounter with faith. Prayer for the fall of the enemy brings together five powerful psalms to help you pray in faith. I ask God to deliver me from the evil of visible and invisible enemies. The Prayer for the Fall of the Enemy Psalm 7 Lord my God, in you I trust, save me from all those who persecute me and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, tearing it to pieces, with no one to deliver. Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wickedness in my hands. If I paid evil to him who was at peace with me, rather, I delivered him who oppressed me without cause. Chase the enemy to my soul and overtake it, trample my life underfoot on the earth, and reduce my glory to dust. Saddle. Arise, Lord, in your anger, exalt yourself because of the rage of my oppressors, and awake for me to the judgment you have ordained. So shall the gathering of people surround you, for their sakes, then, turn to the heights. The Lord will judge the peoples, judge me, Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to the integrity that is in me. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but let the righteous be established, for you, O righteous God, test the hearts and the kidneys. My shield is of God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a just judge, a God who is always angry. If man does not convert, God will sharpen his sword, he has drawn his bow and is ready. And already for him prepared deadly weapons, and he will set his fiery arrows in motion against the pursuers. Behold, he is in pains of wickedness, he conceived works, and produced lies. He dug a well and made it deep, and fell into the pit he made. His work will fall on his head, and his violence will come down on his own head. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he guides me beside still waters. Refrigerate my soul, guide me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for long days. Psalm 55 Incline your ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Answer me, and listen to me, I wail in my complaint, and make noise. By the cry of the enemy and because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and hate me in their fury. My heart is pained within me, and terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came over me, and horror covered me. So I said, Oh! Who gave me wings like a dove? Then it would fly, and be at rest. Behold, I would flee far away, and spend the night in the desert. Saddle. I would hasten to escape the fury of wind and storm. Tear apart, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they surrounded on its walls, iniquity and malice are in her midst. Evil is within her, cunning and deceit do not depart from its streets. For it was not an enemy that affronted me, then I would have borne it, nor was it he who hated me that magnified himself against me, because I would have hidden myself from him. But it was you, my equal man, my guide, and my intimate friend. We consulted together smoothly, and walked in company in the house of God. Death assault them, and the living go down to hell, for there is wickedness in their dwellings and among them. But I will call on God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon I will pray, and I will cry, and he will hear my voice. He delivered my soul in peace from the war that was against me, for there were many with me. 
God will hear, and will afflict them. He who presides from of old, Selah, because there is no change in them, and therefore they do not fear God. Such a man has laid his hands on those who are at peace with him, he has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart, his words were smoother than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your care on the Lord, and he will sustain you, he will never allow the righteous to be shaken. But you, O oh God, will bring them down to the pit of destruction, men of blood and deceit shall not live out half their days, but I will trust you. Psalm 59 Deliver me, my God, from my enemies, defend me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lay snares for my soul, the mighty are gathered together against me, not because of my transgression or my sin, O Lord. They run, and prepare, through no fault of mine, awake to help me, and look. Thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, God of Israel, awake to visit all the Gentiles, have no mercy on any of the perfidious workers of iniquity. Saddle. They return in the afternoon, they howl like dogs, and go around the city. Behold, they utter a cry with their mouths, swords are in their lips, for, they say, who hears? But you, Lord, will laugh at them, thou shalt mock all the Gentiles. Because of your strength I will wait for you, for God is my high defense. The God of my mercy will meet me, God will make me see my desire on my enemies. Do not kill them, lest my people forget, scatter them by your power, and bring them down, O Lord our shield. For the sin of their mouth and for the words of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride, and for the curses and for the lies they speak. Consume them in your wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and that they may know that God reigns in Jacob to the ends of the earth. Saddle. And come again in the evening, and howl like dogs, and besiege the city. Wander up and down for food, and spend the night without being satisfied. I, however, will sing of your strength, in the morning I will gladly praise your mercy, for thou hast been my stronghold, and protection in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I will sing psalms, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Psalm 64 Hear, O oh God, my voice in my prayer, guard my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, and from the tumult of those who work iniquity. Who sharpened their tongues like swords, and set up bitter words with their arrows. In order to shoot in a hidden place at what is upright, they shoot at him suddenly, and they are not afraid. They firm up in bad intent, they speak of laying snares secretly, and say, Who shall see them? They are investigating malice, they are investigating everything that can be investigated, and both, the inward thought of each one of them, and the heart, are deep. But God will shoot an arrow at them, and suddenly they will be wounded. Thus shall they make their tongues stumble against themselves, all who see them will flee. And all men shall fear, and shall declare the work of God, and they will prudently consider his deeds. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 friends to help the channel spread the word of God.